Welcome! Today we're going to learn a little bit about how to read an audiogram. As you can see, this is the outline for what an audiogram would look like. On the left hand side, you would hear the sounds and they go from soft at the top to louder at the bottom. Sounds are measured in decibels. Along the top, you have pitches. Those are measured from low to high. Pitch is measured in hertz. Then you have the different bands of color. The band at the top would be normal hearing. All of your points would fall in normal hearing if you did not have hearing loss. Once your points start to fall below that normal hearing area, you may have a mild hearing loss, a moderate hearing loss, a moderately severe hearing loss, a severe hearing loss, or a profound hearing loss, depending on where the points on your audiogram fall. This diagram shows the degrees of hearing loss. It also gives us a really good picture of what kinds of sounds you might hear with different degrees of hearing loss. So if you had normal hearing, all of your points fell within the normal range, then you would be able to hear leaves rustling. You would hear children whispering. You would hear birds chirping. Um, but as you move down into maybe the moderately severe range, you're not going to be able to hear any of those things because you can only hear the sounds that are below the line indicated on your audiogram. In the moderately severe range, you're not even going to hear most of the speech sounds because those fall in the mild to moderate range. As we move down to more of the severe range, you might hear a dog barking, you might hear a baby crying. As you move into the profound range, you might hear a jackhammer or an airplane, but you wouldn't be able to hear those sounds that are above it, like a baby crying or speech sounds. Let's test it out. Here's a picture of an actual audiogram that will give us an idea of what this person hears. If we look at the audiogram, the blue X's represent the left ear and the red O's represent the right ear. So we can see that this person hears very similarly, not exactly the same, but very similarly in both ears. If we look, we see that this person has a mild hearing loss that is sloping to severe. What can this person hear? This is a smaller diagram, but it'll still give us a good picture of what this person can hear. So if we take a look at the blue X's, which indicate the left ear, then we can see that the sounds that fall above that line are sounds that this person cannot hear. So the TH sound or the S sound are sounds that this person would not be able to hear with that left ear. If we look at the right ear, we notice that all of the right ear points fall below that speech banana. That means that the right ear will not be able to perceive any speech sounds. I hope that you learned a little bit about how to read an audiogram, and I am very excited to look at your own audiogram with you tomorrow and see which sounds you can and cannot hear and in which ears. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.